Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital truth and the topic for this video is live your truth. So when you live your truth, what you're doing is you have been checking in what is real for you. And um, the best way to, to do that is to ask yourself certain questions because you need to have a landscape or an understanding about who you are before you start sharing that truth with people around you. So who you are is the result of your personality, your life experiences, uh, aspirations, uh, the place where you are born, your education and so on, all this conditioning that you went through. And uh, when you start voicing who you are, what you want, expressing your truth, what happens is that it connects you deeper with yourself and with people around you. So here are a set of questions that you can ask yourself. You can take a white page and write them down and then start giving yourself answers so that you understand more about who you are and what's your intention, your deepest purpose and your deepest potential and intention in life. How are you going to relate to people around you? So here is a question. The first one is, what is it? What is your truth? That's the first question that you can write down. And start spontaneously sharing. You don't have to filter the information that comes through. Just write down what comes through. Very spontaneously. You use your in instincts, use your intuition and see what comes up. Where is it? Where is your truth? What attitudes can you adapt in life that you are not adapting yet? I mean adopting, adopting attitudes. What are your truth thoughts? You know, if you could summarize right now the internal thinking landscape that you are in, give me like five thoughts that represent the core of your being. And those thoughts are not necessarily nice or positive or ugly or, you know, they can be anything. But they are real. They are the real thoughts that are happening in your mind right now. Another question is, what are your truth emotions? Now, instead of checking your thoughts, you, you check your emotions. You know, because emotions can be a sense of profound happiness, a sense of relaxation. It can be a sense of frustration or uh, a feeling of loss or a feeling of anxiety. So all these emotions are going to be the emotional landscape of your being. It's important to check them out and see what's happening so that when you engage in relationships, then you know what is your emotional state. Then here is another question. What do you voice? Which ones of these truths are actually expressing to your environment and which ones are you holding back? Next question is, what happens if you are free? What happens if you're not afraid of rejection? What happens if, you're, uh, if you dare to voice your truth without fear of retaliation, without fear of losing yourself, without fear of opening up too much, without fear of vulnerability? That you just voice it and you let people deal with whatever you have to say and then you stay in your strength and in your power without being afraid. What would happen? What are the things that you would say? Next question is, what is your highest inspiration? What is your highest aspiration? If you knew you could not fail in anything you want to try in life, what is the thing that you want to aim for that is the highest? And here is a hint. Maybe it's not a material target, okay? Maybe it's a spiritual target. Maybe it's something that has to do with, God knows what, the afterlife or connecting with the planet and humankind and being in the state of total union with everything and everybody around you. So it might be a mystical target. But what is it? What is your highest aspiration? And uh, here's another question. What drives you? What drives you? It's a positive one to ask yourself, a po powerful one. And then the next question is, what awakes you? You know, you might be through your day flatlining and then suddenly there is a peak of energy or intensity. What is it that created that? Is it because you went jogging, because a friend of yours called you, because you had sex or because you had nice food? What is it that awakes you? And understand where the juice is for you. 
many, many questions, right? So if you want to do a check, uh, watch this video again, take notes about the questions and uh, start giving yourself answers about that one. This is a powerful step in your own exploration of what vital truth means to you. I'll see you soon for another video.